the subset relation is transitive. We'll go through a quick proof of this fact in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Quick recap of what it means for subset to be a transitive relation. Let A, B, and C be sets. If A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then A is a subset of C. This is the transitive property of subsets. You should be familiar with transitivity. It's usually introduced to us with regards to our favorite relation, equals, where we say if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then by the transitive property of equality, A is equal to C. When we talk about transitivity with regards to equality, it seems pretty clear, and it should be pretty clear for subsets as well. If some set A is a subset of another set B, so A is entirely contained within B, and the set B is a subset of some set C, so B is entirely contained within C, then clearly the set A is going to have to be entirely contained within the set C. But just to be sure, let's go through the proof. So this is what we call the hypothesis. We assume that A, B, and C are sets. A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C. We want to show that this forces A to be a subset of C. To do that, we just need to show that any element of A is also an element of C. If our set A happens to be the empty set, then it is certainly a subset of C. By definition of subset, the empty set is a subset of every set. I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson I did talking about that if you want to hear that explained in more detail. So if A is the empty set, clearly A is a subset of C. So then we just need to address the case when A is not the empty set. If A is not the empty set, then we can consider some element A from the set A. Then, certainly, A, the element, is also an element of the set B, by definition of subset, because A is a subset of B. However, since A is an element of B, and B is a subset of C, we also have that A is an element of C, by definition of subset. Because A is an element of B, and since B is a subset of C, every element of B must be an element of C, because B is contained in C. Therefore, which I'll use those three little dots to denote, that means, therefore, we have that A is a subset of C by definition of subset, because every element of A is also an element of C. And so this proves the transitivity of the subset relation. Go through it one more time. If A, B, and C are sets, with A being a subset of B and B being a subset of C, then A must also be a subset of C. And this is the very straightforward proof. If A is the empty set, then it's certainly a subset of C. If A is not the empty set, consider any element of the set A. Since the set A is a subset of B, its elements must also be elements of B. Then, since B is a subset of C, those elements in B must also be in C. And so, by definition, A is a subset of C. That completes the proof, and I hope this video helped you understand how to prove the transitivity of the subset relation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Vallo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.